What is your retirement strategy? This is David Marshall with the David Marshall team of eXp Realty. And today I'm going to be talking about buy and hold investing as a real estate strategy for retirement. In case you didn't know already, investing in real estate is a great way to build wealth and to create passive income. Many Americans choose this strategy as a way to become wealthy. When I was 22, I bought my first rental property. And since then, my wife and I have bought seven more. We we're actually flipping one of them, but the other ones were holding for passive income. We've been able to use the equity in some of the properties to buy other ones and also to make improvements. So how can you become a real estate investor? If you're thinking about becoming a real estate investor, then please consider these three tips to help you get started in building a real estate portfolio. If you currently don't own any properties, then consider the strategy of house hacking. This is a strategy where you begin by buying a property that's either a single family, a two to four unit property, or a condo. With these properties, you take and you live in some of it and you rent out the rest. You know, whether you buy a single family, you rent out uh, the bedrooms that you're not living in, or if you buy a small multi-unit and you rent out the units you're not living in, this is a great way to get started where you can actually take advantage of loan programs that have low down payments and and uh, high leverage. This can get you on your way to building a portfolio. Best part is, is you only have to live in these properties for a year according to the lender, and then you can move on and buy another property and rent out the one that you're in. If you currently own a home and you're thinking about investing in real estate, then look for home equity lines of credit and home equity loans. By taking and using the equity in your current home, you can use that to pay for the down payment, closing costs, you know, and other expenses associated with buying a property. This can get you started and get you going towards building long-term cash flow and also building long-term appreciation. Do the math and calculate all the expenses. Even if you find a property that you think will cash flow, you really need to run it through a spreadsheet or some sort of rental property calculator to make sure. A lot of times people will see properties and think that it'll cash flow well, only to find out once they run the numbers that it wasn't as good as they thought initially. Also, you really want to factor in the cost of property management. You know, a lot of times people say, why should I? I'm going to manage it myself. Well, can you think of a scenario where you might end up needing a property manager and you're going to want to be able to pivot quickly and bring in the property manager and still be able to have your property cash flow positively. So another factor that you want to consider is also going to be the repairs and improvements that are going to be necessary to bring the property up to speed. If you have any questions about real estate investing or anything real estate related, please contact me at the information below. Until next time, this is David Marshall with the David Marshall team of eXp Realty.